Hello and welcome back to Investing for Generations, your channel for high quality stock research for long term value investor. And today I want to talk about Pfizer because Pfizer reported today their Q4 earnings and with that they said Pfizer expects COVID-19 vaccine to bring 15 billion in revenue this year. And of course Pfizer uh, with BioNTech is the front runner in the coronavirus vaccine and this is a big market of course and so they expect uh, around 15 billion in revenue just from this for this year. Pfizer is also part of my portfolio. Um, you can see here it's 3.57 percent of my portfolio when the day started and so they reported the Q4 earnings and I want to take a look short look with you into these numbers and then also tell you what I will do with my position. So Pfizer reported fourth quarter December 2020 earnings of 42 cents per share on revenue of 11.7 billion. The consensus earnings estimate was 46 cents per share on revenue of 12.9 billion. The earnings whisper number, this is the website here where I have this information from, was 56 cents per share. Revenue fell 7.9% compared to the same quarter a year ago. So overall, not very impressive numbers, of course. Um, their earnings per share declined quite a bit. Um, and also the revenue fell compared to the same quarter a year ago. But then we come to the outlook. And for the outlook, the company said it expects 2020 earnings of $3.10 to $3.20 per share on revenue of $59.4 billion to $61.4 billion. The company's previous guidance was $3 to $3.10 and the current consensus earnings estimate $3.19 per share on revenue of $55.17 billion for the year ending December 31. We have to say the earnings they reported today, of course, wasn't very good, but the outlook, of course, also because of the vaccine and the market with that is quite good. And so, um, at least with the outlook, I'm very happy. The market overall don't like these numbers too much. Uh, Pfizer loses today over 3% to right now 35 Four dollar and seventy one cents. So it seems like uh, the reported numbers are not as good as expected, of course, and maybe also the outlook is not that good. At least the market think that. For me, when I look at the earnings per share over the last decade or so, then I have to say, of course, uh, the expected three dollar ten to three dollar twenty for twenty twenty one seems quite good so for me at least the outlook seems quite good i'm happy with that and if they can reach uh, these expected numbers uh, i'm very happy as a owner of pfizer and also keep in mind that pfizer is a great dividend stock uh, here we see how the dividend grow over the last 30 years to now $1.52 and the five-year growth rate is 6.3%, the 10-year growth rate 7.76 and this is quite good. And I'm also very happy of that and so this makes Pfizer just a basic investment for me, a very strong company, a very profitable company with a very safe and quite high dividend of over 4% right now. And also of course what makes uh, investors happy and shareholders happy uh, the outstanding shares just decline over time and here we see over the last uh, decade uh, it's really a big decline of outstanding shares to now 5.6 billion outstanding shares and this of course also gains shareholder value and so overall today on the dip after the reported numbers i bought 35 more shares of pfizer and so this position now is almost five percent of my portfolio my average purchase price is we can see this here 35 dollar and 79 cents and so i'm quite happy for the long term with this investment and we will see how this will work out, but I will not sell this position anywhere soon. 
um, with this good cash flow of dividends and the profitable business, my intrinsic value for Pfizer is around $43. And so we are kind under the intrinsic value. And this was a reason for me to buy today more shares of Pfizer. So that's it for today. If you liked the video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell to never miss another video. And remember, I give you an update on my real money portfolio every week with a insight with all the transactions in my portfolio. And so you can join me on this road. And also I give you a deeper analysis of all of these stocks in my real money portfolio on my channel. Check this out and I guess you will find a lot of value there. So see you then. Take care. Bye bye.